Welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a blend material in V-Ray for Rhino. To begin with this video I've created a simple plane here which we're going to be applying our blend material to. Now in order to create a blend material you first need to have a few different materials in your V-Ray asset editor that you're going to want to blend together to form a wholly new material which is a mixture of all of these. For this video I've created a concrete, an earth texture and a grass texture which I'm going to be blending together. Now in order to first create your blend material, you need to go down to the Create tab here, find Materials and find the Blend option located there. Once we've made that, we can then select it, opening up our right hand menu of our Asset Editor via here. And here we have a base material that's going to provide the base for our blend. For this, I'm going to add my concrete material, but it doesn't matter too much what your base material is, I usually say it's probably the more dominant material in the overall blend that you have. So we're going to start by selecting from this drop down menu my concrete material and this menu here will just be made up of any materials you have in your asset editor. So let's use that and there you can see my blend has that kind of concrete texture on it. Now to start with we're going to start by blending this with the earth texture. So I'm going to create a new layer up here under this first coat we're going to select a material which is the earth texture and there you can see once that's selected my material has now become a kind of mixture between that earth texture and the concrete. The blend is controlled by this little bar here and if we scroll it up and down you'll see we get more or less blend amount. Now this is based on a kind of grayscale image with white being fully kind of letting through the coat one material which is my earth and black fully masking that material and so grey is a kind of mixture of the two. Now I'm not actually going to use this sort of bar to blend my materials because I want a more kind of even divide where we can clearly see some parts are earth and some parts are the concrete. So in order to control this in a bit more detail beyond just this grayscale image we can actually add in a map into our texture to control that blend. So I'm going to do that by clicking on my texture slot here and we're going to go down and we're going to first select the checkerboard map which is going to control our material. And what this would do is similar to that grayscale image, wherever the image is white it's going to let the earth through and wherever it's black it's going to mask it and only show the concrete. So if I click back here you can see my image is now a kind of a mixture of that concrete texture and that earth che texture in the checkerboard pattern. Now in order to have a look at this we're just going to render out this scene and we're going to make sure that my blend material is now applied to my plane just by selecting my plane, right clicking and going apply to selection. Therefore if we have a look now you can therefore see that your material on the plane here is a blend of both of these two materials that we have. Now the great thing with this is that when using these textures like the checkerboard texture for instance these are actually sort of parametric textures so I can go back into my texture slot here, find my checkerboard and if I go to texture placement we can change the repetition of this. I can make this smaller, go two by two here and you'll see that my texture there changes as well. So we can adjust the kind of map here to determine what sort of way we want to show our different texture on our slot. So that's just using a simple map like a checkerboard in order to mask off a coat on your blended material so you can have two different materials showing on one object at the same time. Now we can actually add multiple coats on here so I'm going to create a brand new coat and for this one we're going to add a grass material. Now by default you can see again it's just lightly blending it but I'm going to use a map again to blend with this. Now we could be creating our own bitmaps which we can use or we can use some of the maps down here. For this I kind of want a patchy grass texture added on top of this so I'm going to be using the noise B map which gives me a little bit more control and allows me to create a kind of patchy texture onto the top of my object. Now in order to kind of play around with this I'm going to use the levels here to make the texture image a bit more contrasty. At the moment it's kind of a grayscale noise which means we're getting a kind of semi-transparent effect happening on our blend. Whereas I want it to be a bit more contrasty, a bit more white and black there. So at some parts it's clearly masking the texture and at some parts it's letting it through. To do this we can use this levels parameter here. And if I scroll it up, so the lower level is near a 0.5, so 0.45 will be good for now. And the high level 
is also near 0.5, but the other end, I'm going to do at 0.55. You can see here that the contrast of our image has gone way up, and we've now got this kind of patchy noise texture that's occurring across the image, where you can see some parts are coming through with the grass and some parts are being masked. I'm going to just increase the size of this upwards so it's a bit bigger. Let's change the type to a fractal noise so it's a bit more kind of rough around the edges and we'll just dial up this level. The closer we get it to that midway 0.5 mark, the sharper the edges will be there. And maybe something like a 0.7 might be good for this. So we've now got our kind of patchy grass texture overlaid onto that as well. And that's all controlled by that noise which is masking off the grass in this pattern. So you can now see if we rotate around our object we have three different materials being applied to one object using this blend material. And that's kind of the power of these blend materials in order to create very unique looking material finishes to your objects which might be a mixture of lots of different materials you've created. Now if we want to take this one step further we can also combine our blend materials with something like a V-Ray fur or a scatter to kind of scatter geometry or add sort of geometry pieces onto the top of this surface. For this exact example I'm going to be using a V-Ray fur to create some grass where I've got my kind of grass texture here. So to do that we'll just select our object, go to our V-Ray menu and hit V-Ray fur to add fur to that selection. Then we're going to open up our asset editor, locate the fur in here, and we'll just open up the preview so we can see how this is adjusting to the object. So there you can see I've got my grass just scattered across the whole object there. Now first I'm going to select my fur object, we're going to go to the material, turn that on, and add in a grass texture, so it's got a kind of grassy material. And then in order for it to just be placed where my grass is placed on that blend material, I'm going to go back to my blend material, find that grass coat, and I'm just going to right click and copy my noise mask that's kind of masking off that texture. I'm going to go back to my fur, and under the density map, which controls where the fur is being placed, I'm going to paste that as an instance. And the reason I'm doing it as an instance, as you'll see here, is what it will do is it will match up the density of the grass to my noise map that's controlling the grass the blend and because it's an instance what this means is if I go back to the blend and I change the size of that noise let's change it up to a 2 what will happen is it will also control the fur at the same time so we can move around the grass and the fur simultaneously from one another to control them in parallel now this is really powerful when you've got very large scenes that you want to quickly control these objects at the same time using instances like this allows you to kind of quickly edit them and here we can then up our count to make your grass a bit more dense there. We can up the length of it if we wanted to, to make it a bit longer. And you can see that's all controlled by that same noise material as we've got there. So a kind of really powerful way to add in variety into your scenes and create materials that might be a mixture of multiple different textures and materials you have and also different scattering properties as well, like V-Ray Fur or just V-Ray Scatter. So I hope you found this video tutorial on blend materials useful and if you want to watch any other videos on creating materials or rendering in V-Ray and Rhino please check out the videos on the channel. Thanks for watching.